Hello and welcome to my latest video. The present video is a short presentation uh, regarding the mobile router table that I have built for my work. Uh, at this point uh, it is important to mention that none of my videos are sponsored or supported by any third parties. I have uh, received feedback regarding my uh, last video which was covering the Fevo uh, pocket hole jig to the effect that uh, some people found it too long. In this respect I must uh, state in my defense that um, if one wants to do a video that covers all the aspects of a particular piece of equipment it does take time and especially it takes time when one wants to explain every part of the equipment one demonstrates. So I do apologize if the last video was uh, too long. However, please do consider uh, what I just stated uh, in my own uh, defense, so to speak. So let me now turn over to uh, the mobile router table that uh, I have built very recently. The table for this router has been constructed of MDF and uh, basically uh, let me just give you the dimensions in case you are interested. Uh, it is 61 centimeters long and uh, 45 centimeters deep. Now, this uh, particular arrangement here comprises a Kachu uh, router and a, a, a router lift, which of course is supported onto the plate, which is on the other side of the, uh, of the table of the router. Uh, as you can see here, we have a, a very strong piece of wood that is um, screwed onto the table and it is also glued to the table. Right, so uh, more or less this is what makes up the uh, underside of the router table. Now let me show you the top of the router table. This is the top of the router table and as you can see it comprises a plate that holds the lift, the router lift, and here I have a leftover from another router which is the fence and of course you get here some retainers for whatever piece of wood you are going to be passing through. Uh, the reason that I have used this particular uh, fence is because at the back here there is a very convenient uh, dust extraction uh, pipe and uh, let me just tell you how this whole system is supported. Here I have this Moxon vise and basically that was the whole idea to construct something that would fit here. Let me show you.
Now, once the router table is on the Moxon vise, as you can see, it is very, very firm. I, uh, I can move it, but when it comes to actual routing, it is uh, sufficiently stable to do the required work. This is uh, the, I have just removed the, uh, the fence as you can see and I have exposed the plate that is supporting the uh, uh, router table lift and before I go any further I want to make sure that the screws that are holding the router lift are tight so that the whole thing is secure. Right, what I have done here, this plate was originally like so. Uh, what I have done is using one of these bits here I have opened the plate at the back here so that when the system is lifted The router is exposed and the button that holds the collet is also exposed at the back here so that one can easily exchange the router bit. I will show you uh, how I do that. All one has to do is to press this button that is here and ensure that the spindle is arrested, so to speak. And so, very easily one can move the router bit. I will exchange this for uh, another bit. Let me get another bit. So basically, I put the router bit all the way down and then I lift it by about, let's say, two millimeters. So what I'm going to do now is, first of all, I'm going to lower the router. And I will replace the fence.
I will now plug the uh, router into the mains and I have a piece of wood here which uh, we shall use as a sample uh, one thing that uh, uh, I want to mention regarding this fence is that it has got a, an added uh, uh, advantage in the sense that as you can see here I have the option of moving this in and out by doing that you can use this fence arrangement as a joint uh, arrangement so first of all let me So dust extraction is connected and I shall turn it on and then Here is uh, the cut that we have produced with the router. That is because I pressed the wood into the opening and that has created an extra indentation here. But as you can see, the router is uh, working perfectly well and uh, it does the job that it is expected to do very satisfactorily. One thing that uh, I might decide to do in uh, the near future is to put a moving uh, parts of uh, wood here so that I can restrict the opening of the router. Let me just show you. As you can see, the router opening here is quite large. And I would like to restrict that because by restricting it, you will not get a chance of the wood or whatever you are working with falling, so to speak, into the opening here. Uh, I think that this is, for my work, this is perfectly adequate and uh, I hope that uh, uh, you found this of interest and uh, this time I have also managed to uh, present you with a relatively short video. As always, if you have any questions or comments or suggestions please do send them to me via the uh, description below uh, this video and uh, uh, I will try to respond to you as quickly as possible. Thank you very much for being with me today and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye for now.